Good morning. I'm at it, guys. Vacuum broke out. Got cushions being taken apart over here. All kinds of stuff going on. Um, I am cleaning still. So this is my second part of my deep cleaning. Um, so this is all for my guests. I'm doing you guys a favor because there is hair up the yin yang in these couches. Um, so I'm getting like the brush part of the vacuum and like really getting in there. Beagle, you need to get off the couch because I'm cleaning. I can't clean with you on the couch, okay? I am actually feeling a little bit better. I went and got some medicine. I'm one of those people that it's like last minute, okay, fine, I'll take medicine, but forever, like I won't take medicine, but I figured today was my last day. I really was contemplating like, should I keep cleaning or should I just relax and sleep all day? So I figured I have the day, I'm gonna finish this, so. Um, and I am actually gonna go running as well. So I'm gonna go running and I'm gonna do um, some strengthening. Um, you guys can come with me. I haven't done it this whole weekend. I didn't do it. My throat was really bugging me and it kept giving me like a headache. And like my throat just felt really icky. So I just didn't even bother with it. But gotta get back in it guys. Gotta get back in it. That's the thing is if you're gonna stop or if you have to hold off for a while then that's fine, you know. Life happens. I was gonna say something else. Life happens. So when life happens, it's fine. Things happen. We're busy. We're parents. There's kids who need us. So when you do have that moment, though, just get back at it. You know, just pick up exactly where you left off. So, all right, guys, let's get ready to go on this run. I'm going to go do like 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and do some workouts. So let's go. All right, so that was about a, probably about a 10 minute run. 10 minute run. Um, I did do 20 lunges. Um, and I'm almost getting home, so I'm gonna drink some water and I'll continue. What? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi. So I did also clean the rug, guys, and then I did put the couch back together. But we're gonna go get the boys. Okay. Hey guys, so I was telling Robbie right now that this morning I ran over, well I don't think I ran over it, but I somehow, I somehow killed a pigeon. Um, and it's still definitely dead because I just went by it right now and it was dead. Just a pigeon. Just a pigeon. You know, a pigeon's responsible for saving over a thousand people's lives. No. Yeah, World War One. there was a pigeon. They used carrier pigeons to uh, basically get, uh, you know, warning to each other. And there's literally like a thousand men trapped behind enemy lines. And they had like one carrier pigeon left. And like, it's seriously like, this, this pigeon was pretty badass. It got shot down by the enemy because the enemy was trying to kill the pigeons. And like killed all their pigeons except for this last one. So they, they killed the, like, they tried to shoot this pigeon down and literally got shot and it somehow survived the shot and, like, was able to get to the, uh, to the, uh, the good guy size is the Americans that were, I was thinking, Ameri yeah, it was Americans. Yeah. The Americans were caught behind enemy lines. This pigeon got shot down by the Germans, survived, somehow got back on his feet, somehow flew <laughs> to the American lines, got to the generals or people in charge, whoever, and they saved all, like, these thousand dudes' lives, and this pigeon, shit you not, had a, uh, parade in New York City. Really? They had, literally, New York City held a parade for a pigeon. Nice. What was his name? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Oh, but he has a name? Um, yeah. That pigeon literally <laughs> saved a thousand men's lives. Yeah. There you go. History lesson today. We just picked up the little one. He was sleeping right now, weren't ya? Wasn't a big fan of us waking him up. No. I think us just staring at him, he like felt us staring at him. And he got up. Now we're going around to pick up Gavin. He's probably also just waking up, so he might be cranky. Hey, Gav. Did you have a good day today? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. His new shoes, they look cute on you, bud. Is there a baby behind me? Hey, baby. Hi. <laughs> What's up? You wanna lounge with mama? Yeah. I guess we're just lounging.
What color is it? Uh, what color is that? Uh, hmm? Uh, Blue. Uh, and green. Uh, hey, are you trying to take out my teeth? Really? Do I have cavities? Is that what's going on? Oh, he's like literally like carving into my teeth over here, my gums. Ah, don't bite me! No! Ow, Loki! Loki! <laughs> Alright guys, so boys are in bed next door. Yep. Um, and we're gonna go to bed too. Oh, I just took yep. a pill. I gotta take my medicine too. My cough medicine. Oh. Yeah. Because I did feel good the rest of the day, so Logan I'll take some more. His. Yeah, yeah. Yep, and Logan took his good. his too. I think he, his is the last day. Yeah, he seems better. Yeah, oh I yeah, he seems. Another... Ear infection. Yeah. I know. But, they're all good. They're all in bed. We're all gonna go to bed. So you guys, we're all good to bed too. Yeah. <laughs> but we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Maybe not as early as we go to bed because it's only seven right now. Just so everybody knows. Yeah, guys. We go to bed early. We're a bunch of no fun. Yeah, we are fun. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're going to bed. Parents. Yeah. We're so responsible. We're adults. Yeah. But we hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it one of these. Subscribe if you have not already. And we'll see you guys at the next one. Bye. Ciao.